welcome back to, to just in time 2.0 uh today <laughs> we are here in uh fire gizzard uh, trail in grundy county tennessee yep so the fiery gizzard trail um it is about 12 miles long mm -hmm. 12 miles mm -hmm. yep um it starts off on the Grundy Day Loop Trail and then it picks up on the back side of that. So we'll see how much of this we can make. Um, also, too, depends on the Fiery Gizzard River. Um, it can be a little stream or it can be a raging torrent that's impossible to pass over. We've had a lot of rain the last few days, so we're not sure if that part of the trail is going to even be accessible today. So we're going to go check it out and see. If not, then we'll just do the Day Loop Trail. But either way, it's a beautiful day out and we'll have fun. So please join us. Yeah. I'll see you guys then. Yeah. This is the Grundy Day Loop portion of the hike today. We have to do this in order to get to the Fire Gizzard Trailhead. We're going to start by going down some stone steps here. It's going to take us down closer to the Fire Gizzard River. We've had a lot of rain this last week, so I can see a lot of nice action in the water there. So, should be a pretty fun hike and I believe the bridge has been rebuilt we'll find out it was taken out a couple years ago during a major flooding event coming up here oh, yeah. also known as a rock house by some people oh yeah mm -hmm. yes indeed pretty good size one yeah. right Go ahead. Uh -huh. morning The water. Yeah. And this is why they call it a rock house because you can come here and seek shelter away from the storms and rains and, and all like that. So for centuries people have used these to hide out in. Here's some water flowing back here. A little stream up there flowing through the rocks. Another little creek, not, not creek, sorry. Another spring over this way. Probably not getting it on camera though. It's so dark in here. No, the camera's not getting it. So we'll go ahead and head out of here. Again, yeah, much less water than this, but also too, this thing can flood out massively and be just a giant torrent of water coming up all the way to the trail here. The last time I was here, that was not a nice, pretty white stream like it is now. It was 
full of mud and debris and there was a monster rolling through here. So it's actually looking nice today. It's not too dry, but at the same time it's not in flood stage. That's good. Like much of Tennessee, this area is prone for flash flooding. New shoes, yeah. New shoes for my baby, new shoes for me. Yeah. That's for Tiva, waterproof Gore-Tex hiking boots. Look at that rapids there. Whew. It's fun, right, baby? There's lots and lots of white water. See the creek was up over here. I went down some. So this is not the bridge I'm talking about. This one wasn't wiped out yet. It's a cascade there. Anyone not familiar with what the cascade is, it's similar to a waterfall, except that it's more of a gentle slope over a distance like this. So this would be a cascade, not a waterfall. It's still very pretty and relaxing to look at and to listen to. Go ahead. These roots are difficult to walk on, especially if they're wet. Right through a cascade. Very pretty, huh? Is it really? And across this way, and down there, you're welcome to do it. Very pretty, huh? Yeah. See a concrete slab there. I forget exactly what it was, but it was something that had harnessed the water power. I can't remember if it turned the mill or... Any electricity or what it was? Oh, the pump house, I think. Yeah, uh, right here.
Huh? <laughs> oh, tricky, huh? Yeah, first time I hiked here during stormy weather and this was off and so sweet. <laughs> and the what? Okay, I'll stop. Similar to like the trees, trying to like, you know, color. Yeah. yeah. 